my god. <laughs> Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sesh. So I actually had a whole other video planned, but I think I'm just going to add it to the Sunday special because this is taking priority because it's quite crazy. Um, I mean, anything that happens with James Charles is crazy and this time he's like not actually doing anything wrong. I just, you know, some of the decisions that is happening in the beauty community, I'm a little questionable about from stuff that we're going to talk about, about Fenty Beauty and the Dolan Twins. We are going to get into that in the Sunday special, so don't you worry about that. But today, right now, literally four minutes ago, this was tweeted, and I cannot believe what is going on. Okay, so basically... This weekend is RuPaul's Drag Con in New York City. It's Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and there's a whole bunch of, you know, brands and companies that go to these conventions to promote their products. Well, let me tell you, oh my goodness. So, Wet n Wild, Wet n Wild Beauty guys, they are at RuPaul's Drag Con in New York City, and they're promoting one of their new palettes, okay? So they're super pumped about their new palette. They're obviously selling that. That's why they're showing it off. And they tweeted this. They put a photo of it on their Twitter. They tweeted, first look at our new 40 palette available exclusively at RuPaul's Drag Con, New York City, coming to wetandwildbeauty.com fall 2019. Hashtag wetandwildbeauty, hashtag wetandwild40 palette, hashtag drag con, hashtag drag con New York City. Guys, look at this photo. Does it look like anything you've seen before? I don't know, maybe the James Charles Morphe palette? Guys, this is literally the palette at first i was just like you know what the package it looks the same and i know that you know the front cover of the palette is different you can see it there on the table it is like purple and has green and yellow but literally guys the colors are the exact same and they're in the exact same spot the only thing that looks different is the middle part because all the colors in the james charles palette like those were just a little bit bigger you can see it i'll put a side by side but this is crazy all the colors are in the same spots i mean obviously we can't identify whether or not it's the same formula or not because i'm not there it's like feel it and compare it but what on earth were they thinking james charles is literally the number one release your inner lawsuit like what is going on it's like in these moments that i wonder if companies even listen to their pr team or the people that come up with the ideas for these things why why are you doing the company so dirty like that did somebody in the meeting with the directors that was pitching the idea just hate their job and want this entire company to go down knowing they copy james charles like what wet and wild you've been in the game for so long this is so wrong uh, oh my gosh all of the comments on the tweet are just you're ripping off james charles you're copying him it's absolutely insane like every single comment is like you sister snatched an idea like i'm sister shook this is sister crazy i can't sister believe this this is a serious sister scandal okay i'm done making sister puns but it's just like what were they thinking uh <laughs>
how did this get approved? I feel like if you're in the makeup game, you know what's going on with the other companies, so you would just totally be aware. And it's not like they stole like one row or the names or some of the colors. Like they stole the whole palette and the only thing they changed was that the middle column isn't the largest column. I am so shook right now. This is crazy. I mean, what in the planet Earth were they thinking? I just, what? So James Charles responded to this and he said, that's crazy. Your quote unquote new palette looks extremely similar. And then he said, there are only so many colors you can put into an eyeshadow palette and I'm not claiming to own any, I'm not claiming to own specific colors, but when you copy the exact shades and layout from my palette without even trying to hide it, clown emoji, clown emoji. Yo, this is crazy. I really want you guys to know that I am not, you know, saying James Charles is, you know, a victim here. We need to feel sorry for him or anything like that. James Charles is getting his karma right now. You know, they clearly did steal this idea from him, but there has been so many times James Charles has also been called out for doing pretty much the same thing. Like James Charles has stolen makeup looks, he hasn't credited. So it's a little ironic that a makeup company is stealing an entire palette from him, not crediting him. I'm sure it's gonna piss him off so bad, but maybe this will be the lesson for him to finally learn that not crediting and taking ideas is not okay. I mean, he was so quick to call it out just like people are so quick to call it out when he's copying a look and he gets upset when those things happen so this is just maybe a big lesson for him and i'm not sticking up for james charles in that video i really just want to make that clear i'm saying he is right by saying they have stolen this and i am just saying i'm personally disappointed that a big company like this would be willing to steal an entire makeup palette from somebody else you know i'm not knocking wet and wild because it's james charles i'm not trying to do that i'm just saying i can't believe that people in a big company like this let this happen they 100 percent stole this if they had just taken some of the colors i totally get that he would just be calling them out being like kind of annoying about it but they legitimately stole the exact order of every single color in his palette every row looks the same all the colors i just this is so insane they're obviously not going to be able to release this so get it at rupaul's retcon while you can because this is really it's a really really exclusive now i mean let me hop on a plane and go to new york city and fetch one of these palettes because i just really want to analyze what the heck they were thinking releasing a james charles duplicate palette like i'm sorry why what this is just nuts like they're truly clowns for this there's just no way that they're not gonna get sisters sued for this i don't know what they were thinking and what they're going to be doing if they're going to address an apology i guess i will keep you guys updated and hopefully we'll talk about it more tomorrow in the sunday special because this is all just happening now so yeah guys just brace yourselves this is insane i mean just to look at these palettes i just i just feel like it's embarrassing for the company to just be just straight up stealing a palette like this there's no need for them to copy anybody like let's be original please they could have just done like a portion of the palette we did not need to do a 40 color palette. Like, come on guys. Seriously, James Charles was your inspiration? I, I have no words. Take him to the circus. This is ridiculous. Anyways guys, I hope you guys are having a good weekend and I'm sure we will talk about this more. I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Oh, my God.